What's good, party people? It's your boy, Jeremy, again. Today I got a special show for you. We're going to take the K-pop challenge. Try not to sing along. Hmm. I've never really listened to K-pop before. Don't really know much about it. But I, I guess the point of the challenge is, is all the songs are going to be so, you know, catchy and, and high energy, you know, kind of like the DuckTales theme song, and, and it's just going to hit you. It's just going to hit you in the feels, and, and you just can't stop yourself. So, I present to you Jeremy versus K-pop. Let's do it. Challenge accepted. Show me what you got, K-pop. K-pop games. Let's do it to it. No sing along, no dancing, no head bopping, finger tapping. Ready, okay. Have fun and good luck. In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. Okay. Girlfriend, time for the moonlight. Oh. You gonna kiss her? Okay. We got the Korean uh, boy bands here. They... Oh. Someone's got a drone. He's like, hey, I'm hanging out with my buddies and you're flying a drone around. This is what they do every day. Well, I think they make a they're they're a lovely set of couples. They're being romantic with each other. That's great. The dream catcher. Yeah, baby. I see you brought some uh some friends with you. We can have a good time. Well, how about you and me and your friend makes three? <laughs> Let's get it on. That It's like K-pop stuck in the 80s. This, this here we have the, uh, this is like the Korean Marilyn Manson. This is like the hardcore K-pop. Headbangers. Please, some Skinner, man. Come on.
Oh, it's just cute. It's just adorable. It's just so happy. You don't need all those guys. Yeah. Look, I know when you made this band, you got with your buddies, and you're like, uh, hey, like, I got this K-pop boy band thing going on, and, like, um, I can hire all of you and, and, and give all my buddies jobs. But it's kind of overkill, my man. You don't need all them guys. They're, they're, they're just filler. Let them go back to working at the bingo hall. You're not doing them any favors. <laughs> What's going on there, my man? <laughs> Delata. Okay. You're going to get sticky with them lollipops. I, okay, I got a question. What's up with all these K-pop boy bands? They got like all these dudes. It, it, it's like you got a couple of them singing, then then you just got like a whole gaggle of them behind you. You know, it's like you got twelve of them or something. And I mean, come on, you're not. What up with that? What are they doing up there? Uh, I think I'm late. <laughs> was this the time? Was this the time of the meeting? <laughs> or, did I... or maybe you got there early. They're just turning on the lights, and they're just like, "Uh, dude, um, we, we got chairs for all your background singers and dancers, but like you weren't supposed to be here till after lunch, my man." Did... <laughs> Seizure. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, no. <laughs> These girls are advertising for a bingle bangle and then they want to bang bang. <laughs> yeah. I hear you, girl. You can bring along your friends and uh, we can all get some bingling and bangling. <laughs> Lo siento. <laughs> it, it, it's like they learned one word in Spanish. They, they learned how to say, I'm sorry. And the guy's like, hey, I wanted to reach out to the Spanish market. Teach me. Can you teach me some Spanish? And somebody who spoke Spanish just said, uh, lo siento. And he said, what does that mean? And he said, it's, I, I'm sorry. And he goes, I can work with that. I can work with it. We can make this work. What, what, what am I doing with my life? How, how, how did I get here? I mean... <sighs> uh...
no. No, no. Uh, you're Korean and you're saying fake up. No, no, I, 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 I can't. I can't. Just <laughs> stop. Oh. Aww. Well, they're totally into each other. Okay. Well. There we have it. <laughs> your resident clueless normie, your living meme. Just did the K-pop challenge. I, I think I probably passed it. Um, <laughs> this is all the rage. You see, this this, this is like driving Kim Jong nuts. You know, Kim Jong Un. He's sitting up there, and he's like, "We cannot allow this." <laughs> um. I did like the Korean version, Marilyn Manson. You know, he was pretty cool. And uh, it's like, you know, that's something I noticed in the K-pop. They go all out with the background dancers. You know, it's like, man, it's like they see an American music video. And, uh, you know, it's like they, they have like four or five background dancers behind them. And uh, down in Korea, they're like, huh. We can top that. You got four. We got 12. In fact, we're, we're going to hire buddies from um, from school and from the bowling alley just, just to dance behind us and pretend like they're singing. They're not really doing anything, but, you know. You got, you got to hook a brother up, man. All right, so that was the K-pop challenge. Uh, I'm just going to be honest here. I totally don't get it. Um, maybe if I knew the language, you know, then, then I'd understand what it was all about. But, uh. <laughs> I certainly didn't sing along, so, um, boom, another internet challenge accepted and won. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as always, it's Jeremy again, and as I always say, be good or be good at it.